Teasel Vader six string multi scale. Let's talk about why it's a good guitar, why it's not a good guitar. So let's start with why it's a good guitar. All the tones that you can get out of it are absolutely fantastic. It's got a five way blade, so the, in the secondary bridge and neck positions, the neck and bridge pickup pickups are coil tapped. Sounds really snappy with the alder chambered body. Uh, the Kiesel Lithium pickups are absolutely fantastic pickups. They've got such a wide range of control with just the volume. And the tone gives you another edge that a lot of times you don't find in stock pickups. I would not replace these pickups for any of the aftermarket pickups out there. There are a lot of good ones, but these Lithiums give them all a run for their money. It's fantastic. The size is fantastic on the little guitar. Whipping around a whole bunch of hair on stage at a metal show. You know how many times I've got my hair stuck in tuners? That is not cool. That does not happen with this guitar, so that's neat. Uh, that's a big pro. It's only five and like a half pounds, so it's super light. There's no fatigue from carrying a freaking heavy guitar. The multi-scale on the six, the 26 and a half inches allows really low tuning like you would a seven string. So you can play a six in like a lot of seven string songs as long as it was mostly riffage and not big seven string chords. Which, let's be real, how many people actually play seven string chords? Size, tone, playability, versatility. Those are four like massive points that score high for me anyway. I don't know about you and your own personal taste, but they make it awesome for me. Oh, and your hair doesn't get stuck in it. <laughs> or you don't slam it on a ceiling fan when you're practicing, getting with it, or running into a door, and you're like, oh no, my head, my head stuck all the tuners. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. So let's be realistic, let's talk about some of the cons on the guitar. This particular guitar was made with the jumbo frets. I'm not a fan of you know, massive frets that come up out of that. I like it to be more almost fretless, so like medium to small. So price point is a con. Um, it's worth every penny. The cons about it are the price point and the jumbo frets that my particular model was, uh, that it came with. And I think it comes stock with jumbo frets, so really just two cons for an overall, you know, thorough playing and review of the guitar. Those are really truly the only complaints that I have about it. Well, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, listen to me yammer about a pretty awesome guitar. And uh, see you next time.